the Joe Rogan experience. But like Japan is one of the most unhappy countries in the world. People, the suicide rate is off the charts. Mm -hmm. uh, but they take themselves out. Yeah. You know, in America, it's like, let me. Who can I take with me? Yeah. And I don't know what that what that is. Well, Japan emphasizes humility, and uh, they reward it. Like if in, they emphasize being polite and orderly. It's really interesting. Um, there was a, a this piece I was watching on YouTube of these people that live in cyber cafes, that they have cyber cafes that are open 24 hours a day in Japan, and they have like these little cubicles that you take in there, and they're just online on their computer, and they have all their things there, and that's where they live. And they shower, and they go back to their little cubicle. But this woman was saying that it made her feel like she wasn't alone, but she wasn't with people either. Like she likes that. That like she wants to know that there's people around her, but she doesn't want anybody in her life. Mm -hmm. I was like, Ooh, this is dark. Yeah. Yeah. That's super fucking dark. Sad. Just the loneliness. Like that that's a, a giant issue apparently in Japan is how lonely people are, which is incredibly ironic when you consider that it's probably one of the most population dense places on earth, in Tokyo at least. Oh yeah. I think they're just working their asses off. I mean, they fucking love to th jump in front of trains. They live for it. Like, it really is, like, the, the of countries, it's, it's the least happy country in the world. Wow. And I think number, like, the happiest is, like, somewhere in Scandinavia. Norway, yeah, so yeah. Sweden or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, Finland. I think Finland, like, ranks very highly on that. Yeah. Why is like that? A, the, 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 the thing I was watching said it was like a sense of community. I think like the a lot of them live together and like they eat their meals together as like a neighborhood almost. And they just like, everyone contributes and they're just happy and content. That makes sense. The numbers are smaller too. Mm -hmm. I think that, that helps. Also, it's gorgeous up there. That helps too. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of factors there, right? Yeah. Like what's a big city in Finland? Helsinki? How many people is that? 50? How many people live in Helsinki? 50. 50 people? I bet 50, yeah. <laughs> I bet you're right. <laughs> I, feel like I, would, I bet Helsinki has 1.2 million people. How many people Helsinki have? That's a wild guess. I don't know why I had to put the .2 in there. I'm hedging my bet. Like if I was on the price is right. This thing says it's the biggest, but the thing I pulled up doesn't say. The second largest has 279,000. This Whoa. doesn't say what Helsinki does for some reason. Well, it doesn't, you can't, doesn't, if you Google population of Helsinki. This is the very first thing I had, which was the biggest cities in Finland. I figured it would have had it. it oh, it just says Google. It's uh, 558,000? 558, yeah. That ain't shit. Wow. That's it. That's why they're happy. <laughs> it's basically like four boulders. Yeah. Four boulder Colorados, and it's a whole country. Yeah. Yeah. You go to Boulder, they're some of the nicest people ever. Why? 100,000 of them. That's mm -hmm. it. Hard to build there. Beautiful. Like Bolt. Beautiful. Beautiful, oh, yeah. gorgeous, great people. A little on the socialist side, but I get it. A little too many Birkenstocks and Tevas, and girls could use a little bit more makeup. Put a little makeup on, gals. It's Solid up a little. It's not pronounced Teva? <laughs> I don't know what the I always thought it was Tevas. Maybe it is Tevas. I don't know. I haven't even heard the word in They're forever. Weird leather sandals and shit. But it's a cool place, man. But I think, you know, that's what you get. If you live around nature, you get a bunch of fit people that like hiking and shit, a lot of... North Face jackets, mm -hmm. you know? They got great weather. Yeah, yeah, they really do. They have bl blizzards and snowstorms and shit, but they also have, like, you'll it'll be 30 degrees in Denver or Boulder, and then the next day it'll be 60. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Oh. <laughs>